Hey guys, what is up? This is Daquin. How are you guys doing today? We are going to be playing a game called Red Dead Redemption 2. If you, you know, I'm sure a few of you may have heard about this game. You know, it's kind of a small game, small indie game. You know, by small indie. Oh, oh god, I just about jumped. Oh, oh, what? What? <laughs> oh! Wanna dust up? You got it. Okay, that's it. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, you're done. Oh, okay. That uh <laughs> I didn't start that. I didn't start that off too well, did I? Oh my god, <laughs> that was just ridiculous. That was not a good way to start. <laughs> oh man. Okay. I want to go back and find him now. Ooh. Got something going on here. Oh. Alright, uh, yeah, I guess we are now somewhere here in the swamps, I guess. Alright. Um, okay, is that is Kerfuffle up down here? Oh, yep, yep, there he is. Hi, Kerfuffle. Long time, boy. Yeah. <laughs> What was that? Part of me doesn't want to stay to find out. I do not want to find out. I wish I could find those two guys and teach them a lesson. Wow. How far out did it did respawn me, man? Hold on here. Oh wait. Oh. Whoa. All right. Yep. Let's see. Down bow. Say to my boy. What'd you say? What'd you say, boy? What'd you say to my buddy? Oh, really? Dang. I'm gonna see you. Okay. <laughs> we're starting. We're, we're starting off real well. Of course. Put a bullet in that bastard. Oh, geez, we are. We're not doing too well, guys.
Come on, you don't have to hide. I should not have done that. Why? I think you should stop now. Okay, I ain't telling no one. You keep your Oh he oh he ain't gonna tell anyone. No oh, great. Crap. Crab nuggets. Okay. All right. All right. Not moving. Not moving. Dude, I'm not moving. Yes. Damn it. Oh, great. Now 65. Okay. Actually, no, it's not going to be a big deal. I can pay for that crap now. Oh, why do I care? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so we uh, get to get this party started with uh, a little fun. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what's with me today. I have no idea what's going on with me. <laughs> Oh, there's kerfuffle. Balls out. Yep. <sighs> I have no idea why I was picking a fight with that guy in the carriage. I think, I mean, I could have sworn I, I heard him sassing me. Sassing me with his sass. With his cowboy sass. Jump! Yay! You're gonna jump! All right, let's go to the map. Wow, it's really far from here. Little store. Uh, photo studio. Stable. Hmm. Where? There, that's where we want to go. Yeah. All right. Let's go move on over there. Saint Denis. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's where I. Here's where I ended. So weird and creepy. How you doing, boy? Nope, I ain't dealing with any more shit right now. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to be on the right side of the street. I mean, you know, rule when you really think about it. crazy idiot just sitting there in my way and things. <clears throat> oh my lord! Mm -hmm. Oh wait. Hi. Ladies and gentlemen, my apologies, but the train is a hair behind schedule. Hello there, pleased to see you. Okay. Let's I'm get glad this. Glad you're doing the right thing. Just to be honest, it was all a big misunderstanding. No. Yep. That's exactly what I'm. That's what. That's why I'm. That's what I'm saying, man. It was all not a misunderstanding. Thanks, partner. All right. So. 
<sighs> Let's see. So we have Angelo. We have more Angelo. And we have more Angelo. All right. Apparently we're going to be doing Angelo. I know, right? I um, I kind of got into a little bit of a, a scuffle at the beginning of the stream. Two of them, to be exact. Um, yeah, it didn't work out so well for me. Both times. <clears throat> anyway, but enough about that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I, I got, oh, my, my health, health core is empty, okay. Guess so we have to eat. Oh, actually, yeah, we need, we should probably see if we can, uh, get some food real quick. Uh, maybe buy some more here. But yeah, uh, yeah, we are going to see Angelo here after we find the convenience store, which is over here, so I'm go, go back the way I came. I love to backtrack. Friend, um, okay, let's see. I got the lowest prices. All right, uh, let me see. There's no food or anything around here. Okay, I did. <laughs> I am. I'm doing great today, huh? I am doing great today. Okay, so what's that? Okay. Where did I? Where's all the food that you can buy around here? Thanks. That is strange. Out of the way. Come on, guys, go. Beg your pardon. Oh, beg your pardon. What's it to be? Okay. I guess we I guess we need to be over here to make the official transactions. Oh wait, wait, wait. What's, what's this guy? Good evening to you. Oh, that's just a stranger, okay. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. Alright, we are gonna Okay. It covers all the animals' parts, so as you have no space to stow them, potential makes space. Okay, but that's okay. So, does that mean then? Oh, okay. Well, I. Oops. Okay, I guess we're taking a smoke break, I guess. But that is not. So, anyway, yeah, apparently all the money I just spent on that meat apparently isn't helping me with food. So, then in that case. Uh, where the hell do we go for food then? Doctor, obviously we're not going to the gunsmith for food. I guess we'd have to cook all the all that meat, that I guess. Nice, Don't work yourself too hard there. You're not even worth a response all my time. Wouldn't want you crease in your petticoat. Who do you think you are? Let me be. Ah, uh, shut up. I'm just gonna walk away quietly. 
Oh, my lord. Look at you, lady. Stay away. <laughs> what is up with me today? <laughs> anyway, um, all right. Anyway, yep, I guess finally let's get up to Angelo. Jade Dragon Restaurant. Stop in the middle of the street, dummy. All right. Stick him up, cowboy. This town sure is changing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. <laughs> oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This yeah, city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here in nine. Hello there. Funny you should say that. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I told them, I say, that's the state of Le Moine for you. America's dirty little French secret <laughs> over here. <laughs> that's why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'll get you in a second. Not unless we all get washed away. <laughs> Every year they say that's gonna happen. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> hey, let me tell you something. The rest of the states, they lucky to have us. If it wasn't for us, they'd probably have run back to Britain with the tails between their legs at the first sign of trouble. You got that right. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. I've had, I've actually had Scottish whiskey before. Mister, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me, I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big. Yes, so. Italian spaghetti eating long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. <laughs> I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Language, friend. Language. Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley. They'll know how I get. All right. Oh, hey, friend. You, you be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Oh, well, I've got to be day real fast. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Okay. Yeah, I will agree. That is uh, definitely nonsense.
Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Some bad bread. Here. <laughs> Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? As usual, I will say that I have a bad feeling about this. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need must be services, Cleet. but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, <laughs> you little pair of shits. Let's go. That fellow was angry. Stop, little shit. Oh, boy. I just knew stuff was up. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, go! Go, 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 go! What are you doing? What are you walking for? We're taking a smoke break too. Come on, keep up. Hey, come on. I would not want to be in your shoes. You ain't got a chance in hell, Slowpoke! You give that back! Don't you have pigs to feed? Get back here! You all right back there, ah! old man? Oh, this boy. Last warning, boy. Oh, I'd love to. Oh, I would love to. <laughs> But I don't think uh, people would find would find me shooting a kid uh, to be a, a good idea here in the city. Hey, careful there. Uh, I'm telling you, a cucumber is definitely a fruit. Okay, hold on here. Um. Oh, whoa. Mister, I like you. I'm a blowin' myself. Anyway, I have to go. Okay. God damn it. Mm. What's the problem, friend? Give me my things, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is. And he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. Kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. Ah. Come on! You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. 
We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just want to speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yoko. Now, get out of here. Oh boy. Whew. Oh, okay, so at least I got my money back. Okay, oh, my ho horse is all the way up there. Someone needs to be shown some kindness around here? What? Oh, that this guy over here. Go get yourself something to eat. Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. That's true. That's true. I hate asking for money like a goddamn worm. Groveling here in the worm. dirt. All right, kerfuffle. Okay, now that we finally got our money back. That was an interesting ordeal, but we got this. Ooh. No one saw a thing. Nope. <laughs> Nobody saw a thing. Ooh, that's a that's a neat looking horse. Wow, that's cool. Oh, oh my god, come on, no, 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 what are you doing? Go around. What's gotten into you? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently he lives in a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. Yep, that we do. That we do. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know. And far from real open country okay out of the damn way right. hey kerfuffle nice to see you again kerfuffle you, okay so map I guess we're gonna go see Dutch over here. Nope, nope. I guess we gotta go this way. Come on. Such a foggy morning in, in the city.
as we're crossing the road into the wrong side of the street. I don't know why the GPS will tell me to do that, but whatevs. Excuse me, sir. Can I bother you for a minute of your time? You're already bothering me. What's up? Can I tell you a little about what we're doing here? Sure. Less than a minute. I promise. Uh, we're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall, <laughs> a shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? A donation of twenty dollars would put us well on our way. Uh, what the hell? After the trouble I caused uh, earlier at the beginning of the thing. Twenty dollars ain't no chicken feed, but sure I can help you out. That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. Please begin order. All right. Hello. How are you today? Angelo Bronte, a man of honor. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just these some slick little... <laughs> exactly. Here, well, I'll say that the helping of, the, of that beggar and the helping of that of the lady that of her that thing she was trying to help raise money for, I'll say that was that was my yin yang kind of thing for all the issues that I had earlier when I started the stream. <laughs> like, got dying twice. <laughs> oh, what did I do? Oh, okay. But yeah, that's essentially the idea, though. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. No one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Yep, yeah, we're gonna have a shootout. John's acting has been acting weird ever since the uh Excuse thing me, happened. Sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? <coughs> You get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a brother? I got this. Oh, we're off to a fine start already. I can just Don't tell. Worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Sono sti buffoni. Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. <laughs> Maybe. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. Wow, dude. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Ego. <clears throat> Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. 
All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> that is a very stiff woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderland. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur. <laughs> the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> oh, boy, this is... So, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but for a price, I'm sure. Should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? No, of course, I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Oh, that is oh, a boy. fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Okay. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. That's true. You trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor true. kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope he's okay. He'll be fine. I figure the Braithwaite's were going to hold Jack Ransom for all the money we cost him. Ain't no Must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just. Get this done. The Dutch handle the. Hold on, let's. Great. I just hope you're right. Come on, man. Why am I not able to. Ah! Oops. Whoa. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. I think we just ran someone over just nonchalantly. Wow, pushy man. <laughs> Boy, the fog, man. This is so creepy. Hey there, 
here, boy. Come on, let's keep on them. When my time comes, Arthur, make sure they put me deep in the ground. With pleasure. This place gives me the chills. Yeah. Oh, something over here too. Dang, this sucks. You can hardly see what I'm shooting at. I got their fabulous watch right here. I can think of better ways to spend an evening. Oh, that's John. Okay. Oh my God, move. Let's go. We've hit the big time. <laughs> okay. Like I said, let's look around where they jumped us. Think there might be something in here. to see, man.
This is not tense or anything. Get up. Well, let's go. Looks like we lost them for now. Come on, hey, let's just get there. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there. We'll let those guys deal. You all right? You best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Let's just see. Oh. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, just see where we're at once we got Jack. Alright, let's get this done. Alright. took your time. Where's your host? Ah! Like I said, you <laughs> took your time. Ah! I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Look, Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> has he now? And us, just simple country boys. We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. In front of you. Uh -huh. All right. Okay, that Let's was that almost seemed a little bit too, too easy, I think. You sure you're okay, son? I know, That's right? Fine. That was way fun. too easy. I'm, I'm sorry. And and of course this for? invitation for to this party. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teaches me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, mm. yes. I had the best time, but I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then. Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. <laughs> you know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least that's the way he sees it. Could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days. But we can finally move forward now. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Abigail! 
Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Judge Arthur, thank you. Thank you. Well, what about John? He, yeah, he helped. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Or John, I think, I think, I think Jack. I don't know what I said. So? Well, we met Mr. Bronte. He is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, boys, say thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Ooh. Oh, so all the money that I ended up spending on death and food and stuff, I just I got right back. Susan. Let's see. Let me get some foods over here. It's too cheery and fun to, to, to ignore. So I see who's who's on the guitar, I wonder. Oh, him down there. Alright. Okay, come on, how do I get out of here? There we go. Okay, we're gonna go up here and things. Okay, mine here. This is clearly not. Wait, is it? No, this no, this can't be my room. Do I have to go upstairs. This must be it. Yep, this looks like it's it. Okay. Um. 
Oh, there's not even my shaving kit. Okay, so let's go ahead and shave. Oh boy, he he's gotten uh got some long uh, hairs there. Oh no no no. <laughs> Let's get some sleep. Yep, yeah, just just a wee bit. I cause I, I kind of want to see how long I can get get everything. You know, by the end of the game, that'd be interesting. Actually, I wonder. Oh wait, I can change clothes. Oh, that's right. I absolutely forgot I could change clothes. Hmm. Oh man. Oh, the, the pursuer. Okay, um, mm. gosh, man, I don't know what I want to do. A city outfit, huh? Okay, let's see. In that case, let's see there, I think the ruffian looks fairly, you know, city ish. Um, the brawler's outfit looks kind of good, too. The winter gunslinger, the summer gunslinger. Uh, that's my custom outfit. Um, hmm. and I think I'll go with a brawler's outfit. Let's see. Okay. Right, yep. There we go. This is the cold weather. But in this case, I'm going to take a quick break. Oh, wait. Take that out. So what am I taking here? Oh. Oh, some it's ammo. Um, okay. So, yeah, I'm going to take a quick, quickie break. Yeah, exactly. That's, <laughs> you took the words out of my mouth. That's, that's basically what kind of break I need. <laughs> it's not like I do this almost every stream or anything. <laughs> yep, so I'll be right back, and, uh, yeah, we will continue on with our fun Western stories and see what happens. Yay!
All right, and we are back, ready to rock and roll. Okay. Okay, let's look and see what what possible things we have here. Let me give the mice OBS. Um, rock or roll? I would probably say both. We're gonna rock and we're gonna roll, and we're gonna you know we're gonna roll and get, we're gonna rock too. I mean, it's gonna be the best combination of both, really, and everything in between that. <laughs> let's hope we don't die as much as I did <clears throat> at the beginning of the stream, but that's aside the point. Oh, wait, what's over here? Oh, oh, Leopold, okay. So we have Mary Beth over there. We have uh, Hosea. Um, let's go see, let's go see Leopold. So let's see what kind of crazy shenanigans he's up to. I love the fact that you still can't run in, in camp. I right, come on. There we go. Guess we're taking the stairs. I guess I can't just climb up. Mr. Morgan. Apologies, Mr. Strauss. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be ranchers. Perhaps, but uh, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan, will you help me finalize our business here? <laughs> This is filthy work. Oh we no, he, he's coughing. There's something wrong. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison. Algy Davison. Uh, Algy? What kind of name is Algy? Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And that's it. We're a union built on that, you know. Yeah. Okay. Hold on, so... Oh boy, this is going to be a little bit of a trip, but... Alright. I swear I thought I heard... Let's go around here. Oh, excuse me there, fine gentlemanly horsey people. to see if we can obtain some more indebted money.
don't know why it's taking me. I mean, I know it's wanting me to follow the road and stuff, but I think I'll just take a little bit of a shortcut here. We get a nice pretty view of the lake here with a little uh, mist mixed in as we're riding here and there's there seemed to be some bad person following us apparently The best thing to do is just check the house first. I went out. I thought I was gonna knock, not just make the attempt to walk in. So it is very uh, locked up. Oh, oh! Hey, you better have a damn good reason for being on my property, Mister. Remember that loan you took, Mister Davison? Well, time's long since up. I'm here to collect. Oh, I should have known. You goddamn bludgeon men are all the same. Sure, I'm sure I got your money. Every stinking cent. It's in the house. Hell, I'll even offer you a drink. We can toast to never laying eyes on each other again. Oh, that's saying this this guy's drunk, man. This there's gonna be problems. Gotta be stinking drunk already to do this kind of work. Uh, I like doing it sober. If you take my money, surely you take a drink off me as well. That would be the manly thing to do. Let's us uh, handle the money first. Worry about manners later, okay? I could be fishing. You were catching fish. No, you weren't catching fish. Yeah, you were drinking, Come on. dude. <laughs> Let's get us that debt. Someone's here, boy. Oh. Wait, what's going on? Don't just stand there. Go fix us a drink. Another one, Pop? Don't give me no talk, boy. Just do it. I'll look down here for our savings. Savings? Under the sink? Best place for them. Mm. Now, where's them drinks, boy? Drinks ready. It's right there, miss. It's our life savings. Come and take what you owe. Come take it. It's right here. Ah. Oh boy. Oh shit. I cut your damn head. Clean off. Ah. Ah. Let's make this quick. This man. Damn, dude. Dude, man, come on. You should not have done that, man. His son's in the house, too. Shit.
crafting. We don't, don't doesn't look like we have a an upstairs to worry about. Son, I ain't leaving till I'm paid. And while I'm here, your situation's real precarious. This cash in my foot locker, I've been keeping it away from him. Yeah, that was easy, wasn't it? I think I know the sum, and that should cover it. Ain't you the good son? You should be proud of yourself. Okay, I have a bad. I have a bad feeling. We're just oh my God, dead body, headless body, in the house now with just the son. I need to just. I need to get out of here. I don't feel safe. I was sitting there thinking I should have just gone around, but no, I was an idiot and decided to take them on. That was my fault completely. Yeah, I knew something else was going to happen. I just had a feeling, man. we run into a tree. Not the best way to start. Well, that could have gone worse. Could have gone. Could have gone better. Could have not taken so much damage and died. But oh wait, where? Wait, where is he? I guess, uh, yeah, I guess he's not here. Okay. Um, 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 um. Actually, no, I'm going to go see Jose, I think, instead.
Oh, is that you? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. That's 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 fabulous. I guess we're gonna get all gussied up. <laughs> we are ridiculous, <laughs> utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There could be fine tickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. Because <laughs> we'll find out what happens here. We'll see if uh, our uh, feelings of suspicion Gentlemen, are correct. Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. Ah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Bronte is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli? As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, Mr. Bronte, he has uh, that thing, you know, uh, respect. Really? Hey, Phil, you joined the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Bronte. Gunga? We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. Alright. Got a little fancier than the house we were just in. Well, staying in, I should say. <laughs> ah, the angry cowboys, you've arrived. And you've washed for the prima volta questo mese senza dubbio. <laughs> oh, this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte? No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is That's Alberto true. Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he... Comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crawley. <laughs> a, a Confederate major in the war. <laughs> I mean, a hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things. Yes, but a young wife is unseemly. <laughs> oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that will save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. 
Non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those wow. sure were the days. <laughs> Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well... We, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. But there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes. As my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. Sì. <laughs> oh, boy. I'll take you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Why did he lock that door? Enjoy your evening and welcome once again to San Denis. Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Let's even friends. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose. You go find us some place to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out old Cornwall wants his name. How are you all doing? <laughs> Such a Philistine. Good night, sir. <laughs> How's it going with you? Camilla McClure. What is the reason? Ever did you get that out of it? Evening all. Hello, sir. You sure brighten up the place? Thanks. Mostly I fail, but I try. Can I help you, sir? Evening, folks. How do you do? Evening, sir. Hello. Gentlemen, I hope you're having a fine evening. Evening, ladies. Bonjour, monsieur. Oh. Probably I want to get someone here. Mr. Lemure, I suggested that all of us as Americans had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint Denis. It ain't complex, and you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah, I'll see you and me cool off. <clears throat> Get your hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin the park. Good day, sir. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? Oh, I don't know. Ryder? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, oh, oh. My lord, they're fantastic. Ooh, ah. Fireworks. Those are so pretty. Uh, 
Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. A it's bad a horse? I'm for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Let me say something about Cornwall. Yes, find out what. Will we do this? And how well? No problems? Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Turner. Taken care of the telephone and keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. All right, Marie, Marie, find that little reprobate Jeep and beat him. I will not have standard slip in this house. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. Standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight! Well, not the nicest fella. Get back down there. thing we need there's also that trolley car station senor bronte told us about and i heard about a high stakes poker game come on
Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home. Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. <laughs> all them folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Yeah. Like people torture them. No kidding. <laughs> Here's them papers I took. Uh, let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. Alright. <laughs> yeah, well, that was an interesting party we just went to. And I'm surprised that nothing else bad happened after that. <laughs> I was expecting uh, some issue to happen. <laughs> interesting times. <laughs> I guess... So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. <sighs> All right. Here, okay, what what was in here? My dear Arthur. Oh. I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life, and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at of the course. Hotel Grand in San Denis. <laughs> Coincidentally. Oh, I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else. And for what we once had together, I beg of you. Even though I am ashamed to do so, yours, Mary. Hmm. So that means. Wait. One. Okay, yeah, oh yeah, that's right. Clearly we are on the second floor. I don't, I can't just, wait, wait a minute. Where in the, where in the hell am I? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, so yeah, okay. Guess I can't, oh, wait, wait, door, door. Okay. Oh, I see. I guess I can always just look at the map here. Okay, there are the stairs. There are the stairs. Okay. Good morning, Hold on. I do want to check something out here on the map.
stranger. All right. Morning, Mr. Morgan. You're in a good mood. I'm just happy to have the boy back safe. All right. Ain't nobody ever gonna take him again. I swear. Say, yeah, that was, that was, what? Let's see. I don't know, man. I've been too busy trying to do other things there, sir. Okay, wait. Oh, there's Marsh over here. Don't, I don't even know where the hell I'm going, what I'm doing. <laughs> That was quite a dip. I dip, you dip, we dip. Okay, are we gonna walk any slower? There we go. All good out here? I guess I did a good deed for the day. Good karma and all that stuff. Uh, nope. I haven't really been worrying about too much about the horses or anything. So, yeah. Um, cause I, I don't really play this as probably as much as I should anyway. So, cause I've only been playing this once a week now for like the past couple months. So, and what is up? I don't know if I'm catching that on the streaming end, but I keep hearing the audio cut out, at least on my end. That is, that's weird. Anyway. Oh my god, what in the hell's going on? That's weird. I do have a problem with you. You're talking. My word. Why are you doing this? Arthur! Arthur! Up here! You came! Yeah. I came. <laughs> so, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. What do you two want? <laughs> <laughs> that was awkward. <laughs> Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. 
Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Uh, oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I, I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but... But surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... than... Than me? <laughs> than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Is sure not right. Is right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? An hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you, begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. Sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. Maybe. <laughs> it wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Ah, screw it. Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur, you know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He <laughs> suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. All right. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace. A man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But... It has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever, pawning things off left and right, mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. This is the place. All right, let's see what kind of trouble we can get into Let me now. Go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. And make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Apology accepted. Oh, wait right there. I have half a mind. To kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired. And I have no unwell. such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. 
Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Wow. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. This way. Oop. He went around the corner. Yeah, I saw. Thanks. Hey, stop a second. You're too close. Such a high opinion of himself. You just follow the smell. <laughs> Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. Yeah, no, sh I just saw. Thanks. Come here, huh? quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! All right. He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh. He'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. Yeah, you need to relax. He just went left down that alleyway. Dude, dude you're acting What's like I doing? don't have Come eyes on, on my out. skull sockets. Say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals. He's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was That's mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money, and should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not I've easy to sell. No, it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself Come killed. You don't understand. Nice mother left it to me. Yep. You sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. Oh, boy. Here we go. Hey, you, Ash, hold it right there. Come, Kerfuffle. We're off. Right. Stop that coach. Wow, such action y music we got going there. I kind of doubt he's going to just do what you say there, dude.
Oh, this is the most unexciting uh, chase I think I've ever done. Oh, damn. Okay. Come on, get up. You dumb. Get up. Get up. Oh, my God. Seriously. Oh, he, I don't think you're doing too hot. Okay, we're, gonna, we're just going to chill here for a minute. Can, can my stamina not refill any faster than that? Yeah. Ah, so annoying. Okay, that was you actually. Do this. Um, actually, don't, yes, I can. Touch me. Get out of there. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could. Give it to you for a hundred dollars. Here. Here, yeah, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. Um, yeah, I just did, yeah, dummy. Oh boy, someone's gonna pay for this. I actually just did like not 30 seconds ago. <laughs> Take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Uh, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Not like you did anything bad. I didn't beat him or anything. Okay. What are you doing now? Right this moment. Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Uh. All right. Theater? Me? Sure, why not? 
It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but... <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well... True, I suppose. It's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. <laughs> Lamb. Well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of beautiful in a gaudy and tasteless way. That's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sure. <clears throat> You silly man. Come you on. Silly man. Let's go find our seats. <laughs> I don't know why I got more of a kick out of that than I was supposed to have. Sure. After you. So I guess we get to have a have a little bit of a show, I guess. I'm Aldridge T. Abington, the greatest assembler of entertainment since Woo! Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create oh, in this show. locality as a proprietor of the greatest show ever assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fight. Okay. Snakes and magic. I encourage any Gasp. of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss. Robin Koninsky! Koninsky! Oh, we're gonna have a musical number, okay. Thank you for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called San Dani. They come from Perry and Oh, I hope I, I hope I don't get uh, demonetized for this. <laughs> This might, I'm thinking this might be Louisiana. And like it run New Orleans, I wonder. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we, what did you miss? Well, I think one of the biggest things, we did the party. Uh, we went to that one dude's party. Uh, just got some information um, and was able to leave without any problems. Then I got a letter from Mary, who was uh, Arthur's uh, old wife, and now I'm on a date with her <laughs> to the theater. So 
So I had to deal I had to deal with some some crap going on with her dad, so her dad was doing some weird things. So Yeah, that, that's pretty much what what uh, we missed here. seen the best Perfect. of it. <sighs> <laughs> All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but shame we couldn't stay longer. Sorry. <laughs> well, I would have stayed longer, I'm sure, if I wasn't streaming, but I don't think well, we want to just sit My here and watch a show. It's supposed to. Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I want to. More than anything I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we need money. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money, I had some. Then some fool got her trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. Yeah. Woot! Woot, woot, woot! Thank you so much for the, for the uh, follow, Full of Frights. Or Fee Full of Frights. That's it. Thank you so much, sir. But, on that token, guys, I am actually going to go ahead and end this here. Um, there is some, there is an announcement that I would like to make, though, before I do. Uh, let's see here, if I can get my notes up here. Um, I do a lot, here, let me turn down the volume here so I can talk. I do, um, I do a lot of streams, not only on here. But I also do streams um, over on the Threadreader channel. And what we are doing over there is we are doing a charity event. Um, not this weekend, but the next weekend on October 24th. Um, let's see here. Uh, the event itself, it's called One Drop for Flint. It's, for, it's a deal with uh, Flint, Michigan and all that. Um, and, let's see, yeah, uh, the event is 24 hours, and the, us Threadraiders will be streaming D&D 5th Edition, um, uh, on the 24th from 5pm to 8pm, and what's so cool is that we're going to have D&D Beyond actually hosting our channel, which is really exciting, I think, so, so definitely come check that out, especially if you're into D&D, um, let's see, um, 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 let's see, yeah, I think that's it, so just make sure you guys head on over, yes, um, Zynar here in the chat is putting some links down on the, uh, down there, and one of them is one dropperflint.wordpress.com, thank you, uh, Zynar, <laughs> um, and let's see, what was it, and he also put in, a, the, uh, Flint's, uh, coffee account as well so definitely go check that out make sure you bookmark um, August 24th at 5 o'clock uh, for a little bit of D&D &D fun so uh, thank you everyone for joining and I hope to see everyone there at the, th at the Threadreader channel here on Twitch um, yeah and on that end guys let's see yeah, first link is the main page. Second is direct to the donation page. Uh, according to Zynar here. Yeah, so 
yeah, so go ahead and uh, check those out, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Can't talk. Thank you, everyone, for joining. And yeah, we will see you guys uh, probably next week uh, playing some more Red Dead. Uh, same time at 12 p.m. Uh, Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern. And then uh, I might be on the Threadwitter channel on Friday, potentially. So we will see what happens then. Um, so yeah, uh, I will see everyone later. Thank you for joining and so or something. <laughs> See you guys.